Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to share with you a video which I recently recorded with myself, Crypto Llama, and Peak Jarvie of Peak Monsters fame. You guys know the marketplace, Peak Monsters is my favorite website for buying, selling, renting Splinterlands assets. And it's my favorite because it actually helps me unlock value in a really efficient way. It has a ton of filters and tools and, and functionality that some other websites lack. And so it's my favorite. And we spend an hour here talking with Jarvie about all of the nuances and actually some of the amazing new abilities and tools that they've incorporated. So if you want to know how to best utilize peak monsters in order to extract extra value, it's definitely gonna be unpacked here in this video. Stick around, stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Hey guys, thanks for your time and attention. Have an amazing day. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Yeah. Um, okay. So, well, yeah, thanks for joining us, Javi. Uh, it's nice to have such a, a pivotal figure of the community uh, here to hang out with us. Um, so really appreciate you taking the time to, to hang out with us. That's, that's really cool. We've got um, Infidel as well, 1258 here uh, joining us, which is always a pleasure. Mr. Too. Dwayne. <laughs> Mr. Dwayne Cunningham, uh, the legend. So yeah, uh, and basically today we're just going to talk about there's some brand new updates with Peak Monsters. Uh, Javi's going to take us through them all and uh, yeah, we're just going to comment and, and talk about those updates and, and see see where it goes. It'll go fun places. Always does with you guys. <laughs> I enjoy being here. I'm, awesome. I'm, Thanks for coming I'd on. Love my to dude. be on more because it's fun. Yeah, we appreciate it, dude. And I... Um... I'm excited to see i i saw your notes yesterday uh about the some of the updates and a couple of them in particular uh, are going to be really helpful to me specifically so i'm pumped about it so yeah can't wait to talk about it sweet should we start off with the notes and perhaps just go through those mm. the, those different points yeah, so, if uh, that's the order you want or you can do any order you want on that so yeah well, well, you've already and, kindly kindly written it out for us, so we may as well just go through those okay. ones that we've got there. <laughs> uh, so what, the first one was easy account switching. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is for people with multiple accounts or with alt accounts. Uh, and yeah. uh, tell us a bit about this feature, Javi, and, and why the implementation? But we know a lot of you have multiple accounts. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, so just a super quick way to jump between them, he also, the developer also put in like your CP level and the RC and all that stuff. So you can kind of, uh, I don't know, I, take us, Wayne, uh, take us to another one. Show them how quick it is, I guess. Yeah. So this is it. First of all, guys, uh, yesterday when Jarvi told me about it, I just quickly uploaded all of my accounts and, um, you can just, all you have to do is just click on a new one and there we go. I'm already in D Cunningham and switch account and we're over. It is finished, but I love the, um, I really love the collection power being listed there. And I mean, the RC is probably helpful to some of the newer guys, but for someone like me who has a bit of hive, mm -hmm. it's not so much of a problem, but it's nice to see that. And so quick and clean anyways, it's not bogging down the window and it's not well, Go to one of the accounts. I, I think that one of them, uh, it, it's, I think since I last talked to you guys, putting RC in general is an update, you know? Mm. Yeah. I'm just I'm just trying the the option out on my screen now. So we just go up to uh, the top right hand corner and then uh, chuck in a username, presumably. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it'll grab the data from your hive key chain. Um, so it's really easy to add to. So I just deleted my D Cunningham to so go add account and then you just D. Oops. No. Yep. Sweet. Yeah. Oh, and it even shows you the your CP on each account, what your. Uh, what your hive power is and all that kind of stuff as well. Nice one. That's that's really cool. Uh... Strange. So so if we got then... is this or are you potentially going to make this um, complement users who use bots as well to make it easier for them, or is this um, just for people with old accounts? Uh, just just a thought. I'm wondering wondering like I don't, if you're going it, to allow... I don't know much about bot users so i'm not sure how I, I, I was just thinking for you know like per, perhaps there was a potential way for I, I don't use bots myself but i know that a lot of the community members do uh and i was just thinking of a way where you could perhaps add those accounts in and then do mass rentals like for the accounts that are that you've attached if you if you're looking to uh, um mm. you know is there a cap on the number of accounts leaks? that we can add 
That's a that's maybe a relevant oh, question there. No, no idea. Okay. I don't have enough to to try to. Yeah. Tap it. I don't suppose there is. I don't know if it starts to scroll or the screen gets bigger or what. And I don't think that we had enough to test it. And sure. so someone else is going to have to test it. Sure. Interesting. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll see in the comments section if uh, the people with the bots if yeah. if they mention about what what's happening with it but yeah i mean that's a that's a super cool feature especially for um just i i only have a couple of accounts i know that duane i think you have mm -hmm. a sev several uh but i only have a couple of accounts just uh, so that i can play in different leagues as well and test out different uh collections yeah. in, in different leagues and things like that and that that makes it super easy to to switch and and perhaps rent some cards out um and then go back to my main and all that kind of stuff it's great because um yeah well, peak awesome monsters feature. itself has like nine guilds that we uh have paid for so switching back and forth for them is, is going to be really nice for me so yeah so i should add all nine of them <laughs> and, and see I, what it's like when you have so many i have uh, a comment and a question um so yes the uh the comment is that it, that this is going to make it really easy for me as a person who's trying to create scholarship accounts um, and for people who are yeah. new to Splinterlands scholarship accounts are where yeah. somebody with a lot of assets puts them into a different account and then lets it be run by other players so that they can enjoy some of the revenue sharing that's what a scholarship account is and so my mm -hmm. my intention is to create many 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 copies of those and then to tr try and track the collection power of the makes is so easy and clean here I love that, Jarvi, because, mm -hmm. you know, there are people out there with way more accounts than me. And uh, that's going to make it. I now know that, you know, it, it's it's where I, I, it's a little bit shy of where I want it to be. Um, and I can track it as it grows because cards are accumulating from the play of by that by that scholar. So I, I love that. But I have a question that's maybe around privacy and. Um, uh, yeah, maybe just around privacy, I guess the I, the question is, is there do you feel that there's a concern or is there um, a consideration here that if we're compiling all of our uh, accounts onto one switch account type drop down menu, is that potentially accessible by either tax authorities or government or, um, you know, because there's people in the crypto space that are particularly they they're squirrely about that sort of thing. And I wonder if you have any sort of feedback mm -hmm. on, on how that might be received and maybe they just won't use it. You know what I mean? But um, Maybe just... I don't know where this is. Like these connections are stored. They may just be on your device. Like if you if you were to start up another, hmm, I'm not even sure. Like maybe if you started up another browser and did it, would those accounts be connected? I don't think they are. They aren't actually. You're right. Um, oh, oh, so then they, they accounts it's I just should... stored. I see what you're saying. I should check that. I, I can't do it right now. Otherwise, I'd have to share my keys while I'm logging in or whatever. But I'm, yeah. I, I will, for those who are watching and who are wondering, um, I'll put a, I'll pin a comment on my video as to what I found because I will check that. But maybe it's just stored in the cookies or whatever happens of your browser software. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if uh, I was using... In that case... If I was using another uh, search engine, then maybe it might not be present is what you're saying, right? Uh, you mean browser? Browser? Yeah. You mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll check that. So they would have to be on your computer using that specific browser to see your accounts. Cool. 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 I love it. Though. Good question. I, I don't know actually some of the answers on how we do. Of course. Some of the stuff um, on the development side. Uh, also, to to what you said, it reminds me a little bit of. Um, what Yabamat was talking about yesterday, and he mentioned in a in a meeting that we had with him as well. So I heard him say it at the town hall and in another meeting that he's very focused on the idea of, of making it a place where someone can like buy a lot of stuff and earn from that. You know, from like what you're saying, having multiple accounts, letting guilds play, you know, letting a lot of people play with it, and and creating tools that's why splinterlands and this is on the list i don't know what number it is uh, it's number 11 on our list um there's a set of tools that were requested by splinterlands um 
and on Peak Monsters, if you want to go to them, we can show them, I okay. suppose. It's a segue. Okay. Yeah, totally. If that you, actually if really you go into more. Okay. So yeah, go right. ahead. Yeah, that, that actually really interests me. So Splinterlands themselves want to make it easier for whales. So presumably whales are actually asking Splinterlands to make this easier for them, uh, which is, uh, again, that's that's great too, because that means that that's helping us. It's increasing activity and, um, and it's great for the asset holders uh, who hold the different tokens of the ecosystem. Um, that's fantastic as well. So, uh, yeah, if, if there's new uh, activity and there's new ways that whales can interact with your platform and the Splinterlands platform, I mean, yeah. I'm all for that. That's incredible. So, so it's in the more, more area, is it on the, on the website? Yes. Uh -huh. so can you direct me? Oh, Dwayne's showing this right now. You're on it. And so it's the first two things below it. That, like those listening to us right now, they're probably like, well, I don't need a bulk open packs. I don't need a bulk combine. Like, why would I need that? I like opening my pack separately. Well, you're not the one that just bought 10,000 packs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, or right. more than that, 50,000, 100,000 packs. And you don't want to like mm -hmm. take forever opening 200 at a time, yeah. clicking through that all. It wasn't made for you. It wasn't made for our users, really. Like I was like, all right, we can make this, but I hope we know that like none of our users are going to use this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Very, uh, very few are going to use it. Yeah, yeah, that's bulk right. Open packs. The bulk combine maybe a little bit more, but it's like not so much, you know. Like it's a really cool feature. Like it's really well done. Is the um, bulk? And if you want to combine a lot of your cards, like. Especially if you have like one specific card you have like um, 800 copies of and you want like you play, you want a bunch of them at gold level, right? Mm -hmm. so. Cool. This is something hey, that's yeah, really cool. Give it so a you shot. Can... Are you on an account that has some cards? I, I am. Yeah, I'm, uh, me I'm also looking at it as well. And uh, so you can do specific leagues as well. So bronze, silver or gold. And then it, and then it shows you all the cards that you have of each of uh, in those leagues. It's only for this that's... Chaos Legion cards, just yeah. so you know. Yeah. Yeah. But that's still amazing. Have any cards to do, no valid cards for combining. Okay. Yeah, because yesterday, just yesterday, I went through, I spent like an, I literally spent an hour and a half doing this manually. So that's a shame because it would have been great to do this. <laughs> um, Did you need lots of copies of one card or what? So what I, what I usually do is I go through, I usually go through Splinterlands because I want to, individually look at them like this and i know i can do that on on peak monsters too um but i i go through and i visually and i'll cordon off certain splinters and i can see by the number there that at what level i'm at highest but um so this is going to allow me to just grab isolate all the cards i i i have that are not at the level i'm requiring and or sorry not at the level i'm asking for and it'll it'll identify those and, and put them together uh, with one click is that is that correct yeah, it'll do it for hundreds and hundreds of cards wow. we also have another you could combine they could buy fifty thousand packs they use the bulk opener open them all they could analyze those packs which was also yes. under more that one i like i use other i use that one okay my last and then they could hit the bulk combiner yeah yeah okay so last 48 packs just the other day i opened 48 and i love how i love how it organizes it subdivides all the cards you got in those last 48 packs and it, and i confirmed from my own testing that this is the last 48 packs not not just some random selection of 48 i've opened um and yeah. it, it gives me the full breakdown and the and they're organized by uh by market price and then right at the bottom it even gives you tabulates the you know how many quantity of quantity of legendaries how many were gold oh. and so on and so forth and the prices this i find super clean and i love this well this okay, so talking just about technically this total speaking it's, it's sorted by rarity just so you know okay is it not yeah. oh wait i see yeah because it's not 29 three five six yeah fair enough rum rum is you so good. rum which so, is like one of my favorites so good um yeah i use this it's one all the time fun to use it's fun to use too 
when he love, starts snowballing it's just you know when he gets that first kill and you think to yourself oh now it's happening and then he, it starts to just turn the time because it, it can be a little bit you can be on the fence and maybe you're not going to win and then grum lands a kill and it just change it just yeah. drew, snowballs and changes the game i mean i've lost plenty of games with grum it's just like you, you have to get good at it yeah. you have to get good <laughs> at using him in the right time in the right place mm -hmm. That's the exciting yeah, thing about definitely the game. reverse reverse speed is is obviously there. That that's incredible with Grum. Um, I've been trying to use that. I, I don't really have many decent like diamond level um, summoners, so I've been having to rent a few because I don't particularly have a decent fire deck. Um, so, yeah. but I've been renting renting some summoners just so that I can play Grum and and test it out. But yeah, it's really fun to play, especially when he, when you, you start getting those stacks of bloodlust. I can see why Javi that yeah. uh, you wanted bloodlust on your card on on my on my <laughs> overlay. <laughs> imagine um, imagine a card that's opportunity and bloodlust. That would ooh. be amazing. <laughs> And, it, and if it's it was probably, fire, you could come. put it with Quid, and then Quid would have piercing, and he would almost certainly get a kill every oh, or more disgusting. often. Yeah, that'd be. That's, that, that is. It's that's revolting. Let's not think about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably gonna. It's probably gonna happen somewhere down the line mm -hmm. as well. I'm. I'm One interested to see. You know, a, a perhaps a. Um, oh, I don't know. Actually, it would probably make Grum redundant, but a uh, a, a fire summoner with bloodlust. That would be interesting. Oh, what? I feel uh, like like a fire all, summoner all with... cards have bloodlust. Yeah, so all the cards on your team have bloodlust. Oh god, interesting. But but the thing is, is is each card is only going. It's not like you know because bloodlust works better once once you start stacking it on one card, right? Like so, if you have it split over an, a number of different cards, it's not necessarily going to make them amazing. You know, they're still, yes, they're still getting plus one to each um, attribute, but, mm -hmm. you know, you, you'd particularly want that to happen on just one single card so that it makes him an absolute beefcake, like Grum, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, but split over all, all of your, uh, your lineup, I think it would have somewhat mm -hmm. of a different effect. Do we, can I ask it, this is a digression on that same point. Um, I, I, first of all, I think that would be, I think that would be uh, possible uh, Lama, I've 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 talked about that possible possibility too. I think it'd be quite expensive. I do agree that one monster needs to really get multiple uh, multiple bloodlust hits kills in order to really become crazy. And so, if you had a team of them, it's not necessarily any one of them are going to go wild. But I have a question, and this might speak. Uh, does this spell does this spell cancel the 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 bloodlust bonus? I think it if it doesn't, it should. And that might be that might be a counter that I'm just realizing now for Grum. Is that is that something that happens? Do we know? It, I, don't, I don't think so because it it's uh, like positive status effect. So with with Grum, you don't see the the bloodlust over the top of his card, right? When you're playing him. Mm. Um, whereas when when you have poison or when uh, and uh, whatever. Um, all that kind of stuff which is on top of the card or, or swiftness and all that kind of stuff it shows on top of the card like above the card that you've actually got yeah. that and, and those are the yeah, those yeah. are those positive effects that I think you you're can right. cleanse i think um, you're right. so i i think it's just like a default trait um or like i guess it's not like an aura i guess i see what it's you just mean. The, def the default state um with with grum so i i don't th i don't believe that it cleanses but i'm happy to be proven wrong if that is the case. Sure. Um, Harvey, I have a question but for yeah, you. Anyway. But... Oh yeah, go ahead. I, I do I do want to talk a little bit more about the combining thing because there's another related combining feature. Okay, so let's let's did. let's deal with that then. So let me see if I can find okay. an account that has some I think I must. Let's see, do D so you've got the bulk combine, which is, you know, if if you're that person then you know you would want it, but there's a different one. So just go to your collection. Okay. So my, my cards, you mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So the bulk combine is just using, working for the chaos packs and stuff like that. Um, this one works really well in list view or bulk view. Sorry, bulk view. Okay. Bulk. Are these the ones with the, the little up, green up arrows? Is this the one that you're uh, talking about? Green up arrow. Yep. Yep. I actually really love this feature. It's like, and the tool tips that you've actually added as well. Um, to the my card section, um, 
amazing. Really, really cool. So uh, the it, and underneath, so the green is has been there a little bit, but if you go down to that captain's ghost, captain's ghost, there he is the, with the green. Next one down. Yeah. It has the greens a little bit different color. Yeah. Underneath it is a number. What does it say under that? It says plus three BCX. That means that if you if you go to the stat thing next to the the four, the stat thing next to the four, um, click click on this this thing on the yeah that thing right there. Okay. Click on that. So at level four, you need twenty five BCX, right? Yep. If you go back to this, okay. So close this out. It says plus. Yeah. Uh huh. You have twenty eight, as you can see to the uh, side. Yeah. 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 So we have indicated that you're three over what you would actually need to be a level four. You can go. Oh, I'm kind of just wasting a few BCX. They're giving me extra CP. That's fine. Um, they're not like. You can go and identified cards that maybe would be more beneficial to you, especially if you rent out cards. You know, mm -hmm. people aren't well, or you're competing against other cards that are at level four, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Well, why would I rent your card at level yeah. four unless they really are in need of the extra CP?" I mm -hmm. suppose, but um, so you can yeah, go through I really your like, so see so you, miscombined got... cards. Yeah, is that, are they the ones so with the with the darker green arrow next to it? Is so that's that's the one that's the one for uh, where you can potentially upgrade them. Yeah. Interesting. Am I? Uh, you see this? Look at this example, Drevy. Uh, where did it go? I shrunk it because I wanted to. The dark enchantress. Thirteen. Oh, that thirteen dimension shark. Dark enchantress. Yeah, you probably had some uh, thing going on where you had um, an alpha combined thing and it had some, where they used to use the XP sort of thing. Mm. It's just a thing that happened between alphas and betas. I see. I, I kind of recall so, yeah, that. Nor yeah. But I am max yeah, level. It's a random. Interesting. Yeah. So this is going to be a good level. That's why you don't have a green arrow next to it, you know? Yeah. This is going to be an interesting feature for people like me who want to have a maximized deck, uh, you know, maximized lethality. I, I, I want to quickly be able mm -hmm. to uh, decide how close am I to the next, you know, this one, for instance, plus seven is is implying to me that I must be, you know, a kind of, I'm not, I that's, that's a good amount of BCX to be, to have mm -hmm. it on my way to the next, next level. And so, if I want to stretch the deadliness of this deck, I should I could look into the Dark Ferryman and see, okay, look, I'm at level seven. And if I want to go to level eight, I'm going to need 115. And if I'm at level seven plus seven, I've got 92. So I still have about 25 or whatever to purchase. I think it's 23. Um, but, you know, then I can ask, well, that one archer archery, that's really cool. I like that. That's going to be, that's going to make it really a little bit quicker to see the weakness and the opportunity in growing my power. Yeah. Great way of explaining it. Um, and now is there is there a way to show specifically those the the ones which you can upgrade or how close you are to to upgrading those we cards? Are, we are we are growing them? and growing in filters every day. <laughs> we just have so many and there's a couple that um, since last we talked that are new filters and adding more and more filters mm -hmm. is i don't know we didn't put it into the filter set also because we feel like it's kind of a one-time thing maybe you yeah. go through your whole collection see where you have an issue yeah i mean if enough people ask for it as a filter we'll add it to the list you know like there's just so yeah. many filters right now oh 47 i know but it's the rusty Closer android 47 level filters. nine I know, but it's the gro <laughs> it's the rusty android. Ew, <laughs> rusty android. <laughs> this card. What's, what... <laughs> yeah. what's your beef with the card? And mine what's is miscombined as well, and I was like, no, I'm not going to worry about it. These some of these um like these old common cards. Look, you needed 505 copies to get up to the highest level, and so I used to make a lot of decisions around. And maybe if people don't know this, they should. 
when you're upgrading your cards, you always want to be clear about what the benefit, the opportunity cost versus reward for actually making that next stage. If you're at level, if you're playing at gold, for instance, um, gold with with um, common, I think allows up to level eight, I think. It, and so you have to ask yourself, you know, do you want to buy 100 copies of a card, 105 in this case, or would you want to go to the 172 for the max power available to you? And then you need to, you know, compare not just the cost uh, differential, but also the, the power differential. Maybe one extra melee is worth it to you, and maybe it's not. And at level, I went, I got to level eight, and I think I might have just bought this one in this awkward size, but if not, it was a mistake for me to do that. You see, because I like Jarvie was pointing out and like this whole filter is pointing out, you really don't, it's best to just, when you're upgrading, to just use the exact amount of BCX required to reach the level you desire rather than putting in 46 extra or 47 extra copies um, that are now being, they could be separate in their own card and on a different account giving me yeah. the rusty Android instead of just sitting in here adding a little bit more collection power. Yeah. I, if you're actually, gonna play with that card, you might as well rent out your version for someone looking for CP. Mm. Go rent another one, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. I actually have this because uh, I, I just bought a brownie recently. I didn't have my. I was just using a level. Even level one brownie is amazing in in diamond, by the way, guys. But um, you know, I was I was just using a level one, and I wanted the inspire, uh, which you receive at level four. Uh, now there was a card on there was hundred and ten dollars or something like that. So I got I got that one, but level six, uh, which was like nearly three times the cost, literally what gives it him an extra uh, two two HP and one speed. Uh, so uh, I mean it doesn't really <laughs> it doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, I'm happy to just have it with with two two HP because if he gets opportunity or something like that he's gonna die anyway mm. um regardless so um i always you know just just leave him at level four he's he's good at level four mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with him at all he, it, it, essentially he should be getting inspire at level six really um but he gets it at level four which is which yeah. is incredible it means that i don't have to pay three times the amount for the card i feel uh, that just to get an extra yeah. hit how more. much nightmare stands out on that list that card itself just like it's so bright and colorful oh, yeah. and i always think of you when i use nightmare <laughs> just so you know it's so good dude it's absolutely i i use it so effectively now guys i need to do a new video on how amazing because this card is still really affordable and for new players who are getting started okay. this card is so fast and if you're playing a gold or diamond or champion especially or if you have a vision to play at those levels one day investing in a card like this that is already out of circulation and therefore is going up in price already we've seen it um i think it has a, a bright future because it's so fast and it has the phase which very few monsters do which makes it, it because of the speed it'll dodge melee it'll dodge archery quite often but then also it can dodge magic and when you run it with like kitty or even quicks who's going to slow your enemy and then there's so many blind monsters now uh, blind is an ability for those who don't know and it drops 15 percent of your enemy's ability to hit you it's super it's actually very easy in a, in a 40 or 50 mana cost match to con contrive a situation where your nightmare is impossible to hit and uh, i do it regularly uh, with you know three or four different slow monsters on the back end using a kitty or a quicks um, so good it's almost like the chaos dragon with melee and blast yes um, oh the chaos dragon oh, sorry not chaos dragon uh, is it uh sorry the uh, which is the new one with the uh, the face it's not Chaos Dragon. It's, um... I know who you mean, but I can't remember his name. <laughs> What's he called? What's that legendary called? That's oh, going to kill me now. It's uh, uh, Void Dragon. Legendary... Void Dragon, that's the one. Yeah, it's okay. almost like Void Dragon, except yeah. um, with blast and, and melee damage. Yeah, this is a great option uh, also. I, I would say that he's almost... Yeah, it's almost comparable. But um, yeah, it really super cheap at the moment. It's just come down 14%. It will be int interesting to see after this video uh, what it goes up to. <laughs> Perhaps I should buy some copies. <laughs> uh, okay, so what, what's up next? What do we got next? I think. Um, oh, so, so keyboard we were, shortcuts. I think. What's the well, let's let's segue into the conversation about filters since I alluded to it. But oh yeah, yeah. Keyboard shortcuts I thought was uh, a humorous addition. I didn't ask for it. 
He's just like, hey, it. by the way, I made some keyboard shortcuts. I'm like, okay, I, why? I love it. And now and I use them every yeah, time. Yeah, every anything day. that I'm a sucker for hotkeys with any with any program. Anything that can increase productivity for me, oh. like that's oh. I'm all for that. Um, so yeah, I'm interested. We're already in... talking about it. Might as well use it. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well do it. Yeah, let's go. Dwayne, so, have what you have we got? Keyboard shortcuts. No, I, I didn't. I, I don't know what they are. I, of course, I know what keyboard shortcuts because I don't know what the for the Splinter Land or for the Peak Monsters are. Yeah, so go to your collection. It works on stuff on your collection. Okay. And uh, I don't know uh, a thing that you want to do. You've got a bunch of Can these I... uh, acid shooters. So click on a couple of them. You don't actually have to fulfill the transaction. Mm hmm. So oh, what do you want to do? Um, I would like to put a few of these acid shooters together. Is that a is that helpful? Well, then don't click on the one that's delegated. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. So I, I forget that sometimes. Again, I got to come over here and click. Okay, so delegated no, on the market no, or rent no, because I wanna I wanna isolate those that are available. To Only merge. the ones that are yours. Yeah. Yep. Well, let's do a different one um, because. Uh, the merging we have with the with the arrow yep. so, but you've got rent you've got sell you've got delegate um yeah rent sell delegate those are the main ones yeah you do get confirmation and window prompts before this actually it doesn't just automatically happen right <laughs> let's try uh, yeah. let's try and so rent click, a, click a few of them rent sell or delegate okay and what are the what are the hotkeys to do it? I remember some of them, but like if someone wants to use it, then you should maybe go show where to find them by okay. clicking on the where you would normally go. If you wanted to rent, so up sell, here, or delegate, and then let's go. And I would theoretically want to rent them, so go go to the very far left hand side. Back. Okay, back. Okay. So, oh, right there. You'll see a little picture of a keyboard. So that will give you. Uh, Tool tips if you click on them. So there's list for sale or rent. Just so I can get this for my viewers as well, Javi, where am I looking at in the in the interface? So I've I'm in my card section. I've clicked a few cards which I own. Mm -hmm. And then and then where am I looking at? Uh where it usually says sell, rent, transfer others, it's on the far left of that. There's a little picture of a keyboard. Oh yeah. Okay, so, um, this is where you can find all the shortcuts. Great. List for sale, control S, control and, Oh, R. and there's also lock. Yeah, so rent, sell, delegate, lock. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Uh, unlock, it lock, brings them delegate, up delegate, remove from rent market, remove from sale market, update, sell, rent, list for rent, and list for sale. That, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I'm certainly going to start using these so that uh, I can commit them to muscle memory. Mm -hmm. uh, because so that will Let's certainly... look at this one. Remove rental from market. Yeah. Update sale price. Let's let's think of that one. Update rent price is control U. Okay. Let's remember that one. We're going to have uh, Dwayne do one. Do you rent any cards? Uh, right now, no. But I could rent these and then and I and I could update them. Control R. Okay, yeah, yeah. So let's print them. And then load uh, pricing. R. And then okay. confirm. Confirm. Okay. Now they're all processing. We'll give it a moment and hit the green uh, refresh. So a new update, very quality of life, small thing. If you scroll way down, scroll way down on the list and up, a, I guess, a bit. All the way to the bottom, I guess. I have so many cards. Oh, no, I guess go back up. Okay. Uh, the, oh, gosh. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> there we go. Oh, the green refresh. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just saying that sometimes the green refresh follows you along. Gotcha. All right. So now you have to go look at the ones that you have for rent. Okay. So for rent, for rent, yes. I get a no. They didn't get. Okay. They must have gotten immediately rented. The ones. Wow. They they got immediately rented. Like hit refresh maybe they took a moment and and then can you update the prices automatically as well with that update the rental prices hotkey yeah but he needs to do a bunch of them okay give us the the example of 
of uh, basically the concept that people have been asking about it, and we've been asking it for a while, Splinterlands um, updated their, um, their protocol to a, it was kind of like almost like a bug for a while. You can just yeah. if change I... it on the bulk price. Oh, can I? Yeah, that's the way to do it. So bulk yeah. price, and then it's going to apply this to perfect. So I'm going to I'm going to charge something unreasonable so they don't get taken right away. I'm going to rent them. Yeah. And then yes. give it a second and then we'll we'll bring those up and then we can bulk we can bulk them in that, right? We can bulk change the price of them. Yeah. So now I need to look at my rented oh, but... rented cards. There we go. So now we've got multiple options. You hit select all over on the left hand side. And then wait no keyboard shortcut yep what was it control, control update control <laughs> u yeah yeah uh control u yes there you go figure card rental parameters market p5 percent mm, uh, okay so these are the prices these are the cards that I've, i had selected these are the prices that i had previously just listed and Mm -hmm. And then all I have to do is grab it and it'll drop the new price or you can amend it individually as you see fit. Mm -hmm. um, while have you ever used this though as, as well while you're here? If you look on the, on the levels down below, you can click next to the number. Say, look, I don't want to be the, the cheapest card. I want to be the second cheapest card the third cheapest card and you hit the plus next to that number. I see. So like th this is the cheapest card on the market. This is the second cheapest and you can grab oh. where, where do you click? Uh, I tend to click on the like be a little bit better than the, than the third one, maybe, and, you know, and you're going to. Oh, I see. So I just I would grab. I don't want to list mine for eight dollars and 40 cents. I want to be like eight dollars and 80 cents. So I click next to that 885. 885. Yep. Yeah. And then this is the, oh. the hot, the, if I touch this button, it's going to activate that price point. Yeah. So I usually put the plus next, I click on the plus next to it, but gotcha. I want to be a little bit better than that. I see one, your point. You know? Okay. So it's like you can click on this and it will populate that uh, collection power to DC, or you can go one better, oh. uh, one more expensive, I guess, or yeah. one cheaper. Correct. Yeah. Cool. Really yeah. cool. I'd never done that. And would this, yes, would this populate yeah. if I had 20 copies of that, uh, acid shooter level two, would it do, would it yes. populate them all? Hey, okay, well click on the other one, the, uh, the other acid shooter that you have. So one of these guys. Oh, and then nice. all, they're all highlighted now. Nice. And so then and now the cheapest is 0.287 yeah. DC per day. And then you can see that there's three at that level. And then they start to go up a little bit, but you could come in here and say, click on, you know, if you want to be competitive, you could click on this one and just go down, down one and be slightly cheaper, but you can't actually go down a full DC. Oh, I guess you can for, cause it's 348 collection power to DC, but I would go 340. Yeah. If you press down, it's 347. Is that correct? I mean, click it. It's not going to change. It's just going to change the number. Yeah. So it's going to go to 288. Oh, neat. And instead of 287 so you're you're not going to beat the first three but then you're going to be the next Ooh, that's really cool i i did not know that so i've i've used this i've used this the price discovery tool and you go through yeah. and you click on whatever card because you might have when i rent cards i'll rent 100 cards at a time and there are a variety of cards it's not usually 20 different assets shooters but um yeah. but still that's the, the, there's usually a few duplicates and I'm manually going through on every single one and adding a price that looks appropriate with this data. But this this will make that a, a bit more expedient. So that's great. Yeah, I mean, you're not renting right now anyways, but um, I guess now we are for the test. At, at the end of the there's, season, I rent. Okay, well, now there's a cool filter. Since we're talking about filters, if you go down to the very bottom of your filter list. Okay, filters over here. Yeah, there's now one not the very bottom. I guess there's one called rentable right next to cooldown. Cool rentable rentable. Down lower, warmer warmer getting hotter. Cooldown rentable burning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then, so if you click on rentable, it will exclude all of the cooldown cards, 
and it will exclude all the cards that you have personally played with recently because those oh, cards aren't neat. rentable. Those cards are that not really rentable cool. anymore after Splinterlands recent change. So can, that you have recently played with. So can you? Is that? Is this feature? Is that one of? So sometimes when I rent cards, and maybe this is not this related, but help me understand this. Sometimes when I go to rent cards, I'll grab a hundred at a time, and and mm -hmm. something about the rental just isn't working. I, like I go and I do the yes. load, I do load pricing, and I go to click rent, and it doesn't process because I it, or it won't process yes. because I think it won't even give me the rent option. I think it's because some yeah. of them have been either played or delegated or something. Is that? Yes. Yes. Cool. So now there's also another benefit if you go to. Are you, where are you we at? Do you have any cards selected right now? Uh, not right now. No. So grab them. You select a few. Boom. Sure. A thousand. A thousand. Okay, well, um, it's a lot. <laughs> but you can go to <laughs> That's a get rent or something. Okay, let's go like this. You're yeah. not going to be able to rent them. There's okay. 30. Uh, 30. Okay, so now go to rent. Control R. Oh, yeah. Control R. Okay. So any cards that are listed uh, at zero mm -hmm. are now highlighted in red because you cannot rent a card for zero DEC. Mm -hmm. the ones that are gray are because those that's the one that's selected right now. So if you were to click, yeah, I see. If you click on that, yeah. So okay, that's that's really helpful because when you when you grab a thousand, it's the needle in the haystack. Yes. 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 Cool. And also. Um, yeah, so you can find the needle in the haystack faster. And also there's three columns. I don't know if you noticed that. That's mm -hmm. a change. Mm -hmm. It used to be two columns. Mm -hmm. Just more on the screen. Totally. A little bit faster. I love the uh, quality of life upgrades of that you've added with the, um, with the snapshot of uh, when, you're renting th when you're renting out cards and things like that. Uh, how you've added the, well, all the yearly return on assets and uh and all and as well you put the bid window mm. as well in there as well which which is incredible mm. to have that because i was previously just going and checking going to a different screen and checking the bids and that kind of stuff but now it's all there in in that one window when you're renting a card um it's super smooth uh and yeah really really cool yeah, and the, the the final filter that we did was a cp filter oops cp filter okay so you could like, I don't want to look at all my level one cards or I don't want to, I don't want to rent any cards that are below 40 CP anyways. So, mm -hmm. so there's that min max CP. So you're just like the minimum I want to look at or is, you know, all my cards that are above a hundred CP. Sure. Uh, yes. Yep. In the filter section there, I see that now. Yeah, oh, that's great. Neat. Now those are all your cards. You have 1,622 cards that are above a hundred CP. Where's the 1,600 number that you're seeing? Uh, in purple on the oh, yeah. top right corner. Nice. Actually, put another zero there. See how many cards you have that are above a thousand CP. It's a great way of um, sorting, getting getting rid of those uh, Pelicor Conjurers that you don't want on the Peak Monsters market there, mm -hmm. Jarvie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That you were talking about last time. Yeah, huh? <laughs> like, what are you doing? You're never going to get rented. <laughs> while we're while we're talking about rentals and you know using filters to your effectiveness and efficiency, um, what I do often is I'll when I at the end of the season when I feel satisfied with where I'm at, I've reached my highest level. I'm gonna I'm gonna rent out some cards for everybody else. Uh, I'll come in here and I, I I just organize by the BCX because that's gonna help me understand which of my monsters are maximized maximally powerful, and those are the ones I'm gonna I'm I'm typically gonna spend. If I grab these ones, my highest cards, I'm going to be able to rent out fewer cards to maximize my uh, DC returns. If, as opposed to renting out a thousand copies of you know a low level BCX card, I, I rent out these ones and it, it moves the needle, giving me more income. And so I just love that these these are uh, amendable too. DP, BCX level. And oh, all is that, that is that when you can when you can sort by the CP or BCX and level and all that kind of thing? That's right. And that and by yeah, yeah. So, that's that's great. Yeah. 
Mm. Uh, yeah, as you say, Dwayne, it really shows you which cards uh, you'll be able to get the most out of or the most for rentals and that kind of stuff just really quickly. But um, that extra addition of the max min-max CP, great. That's fantastic. Well, it's almost the same thing, but just with a few few, few keystrokes. Jeremy, I have a question about delegations. Oh. Okay, so, so I, at the end of the season, and anybody who's listening, if you follow me on Twitter, it's time and attention. Um, and I, at the end of the season, I try to delegate power out to people who need a little bit of extra power to reach their maximum level. As I understand it, Splinterlands is trying to tweak how that works and you need to have the cards like well in advance of the end of the season. I, I don't know the exact timeline, but if I'm if I'm not mistaken, I think they're 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 structuring it so you need it for a full 24 hours in advance of the end of the season. Otherwise, you don't get your bonuses. I think that's I read that somewhere. Um, but oh, I'm, I don't know much about it. I, I I'm I'm trying to send out collection power to people who need it, and so as a result, I end up delegating a lot of different cards to a lot of different accounts. Um, and one thing I found. I use peak monsters for that when I'm I come in here and I, I go to my cards and I get these requests somebody needs a hundred thousand somebody needs twenty thousand and like I said I I'll let's see I, I'll go in here and I go uh rentable rentable I guess rentable would satisfy wouldn't it rentable is gonna tell me the cards that can be can be can be um a, rentable is gonna be equate to those that I can delegate I think also is that true first of all what? Uh, you can delegate anything. Yeah, I guess even if it's... Play even, with them. That's right. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that. Cooldown. It's kind of irrelevant if it has a cooldown. So for rent, no. You can't delegate things that are on the market or that are for rent, though. So Yeah, so I got on the market, no. For rent, no. Delegated, no. And then what I'll do is I go and I grab, you know, X amount of... They said they need... Um, you know, 20,000 power, 15,000 power there, right there. I got two cards because I don't, I'm not trying to build them a cool deck. I'm just throwing them CP. And then at the end of the season, I do that. And I've got 10 or 20, you know, different accounts in here, um, delegating to, yeah. I think they're, I think I can ultimately go delegating to, and then it'll have the different, it, it categorizes by the different people's names. This might be a bit too niche, so I won't waste too much time on it, but I, I, I feel like there's some hurdles in the way of grabbing, uh, um, of organizing the delegations I've made when I've delegated to 20 different accounts in, in a way that I want to later identify amongst my tens of thousands of cards. Is is this feature going to allow me to identify, I think so, delegated to, it's going to say like Jim, John, and it's going to, if Jim- There's has, a filter. Yeah. I think that's my goal. You can filter it by the people that you delegate to. Yeah, this one I think delegated to. I'm. I think either I didn't know about this before. Down on the filter list, you could write the name of the account and see how many you've delegated to it, and then Can then you do uh, that? also the CP. Yeah, down lower, down lower. It's at the bottom. Oh, delegated to. is this new? Oh, <laughs> that one isn't actually new. Dude, that's so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so all your problems have just been solved. That's awesome. I guess then you'll also see how much CP they have too when you use that filter. Yes, that's huge, man. That's really, really helpful. Actually, go to the click on the the action button now that you have two cards selected. I want to check something. Where the action button. Cards the action button. Up top, uh, where want... it says like twelve. Um, I click on that. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess it doesn't. Oh, it says now we we updated it. Total CP, forty-eight thousand. Yeah, that's that's really cool 000. too. Right. Yeah. Now you can see how much you're about to delegate to that person. Well, now also, yeah. Javi, did you mention? People ask for that, also... and I was like, "Why in the world do you need that?" But now that now that Dwayne's mentioning all this, I'm like, oh, "I guess Dwayne is the one that needed <laughs> yeah. it." It was just me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, so Javi, you were mentioning when you when you type the delegated to or type in the account down the bottom, um, so you can see how much CP you said you can see how much CP they have, as in yeah, so how much you delegated to, to them. Delegated. Or... He needs to unclick his delegated no feature. Okay. His, I, mean, I don't know that I've delegated any yet, but... so if I do that, do oh. I... so let me delegate these quickly, and we can we can just go other delegate, and I can go to. 
confirm. Now they're okay. all sent off, and now we can go to DE, or it might take a second, but... Cons yeah, you may want to refresh, but yeah. Okay. And you may want to unclick the delegated no feature. Okay. Sir. Yeah, there we go. There you go. So it's got it's got them now all. up high. Now up high, Llama, you can see that the stat says forty eight thousand. Right, right at the top, and that's that's the total amount. Oh, it, so oh, that's great. So it, it tells you the 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 list price and the market prices of all those cards that you've delegated, yeah. as well as the CP value as well. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've outdone yourself. All the <laughs> <laughs> all these features that make us no money. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's you know it's nice to have them there. And and to be fair, I think that probably a lot of people we're not doing our jobs well enough, um, Javi. <laughs> we're we're not we're not letting everyone know about all these um, all these different filters well enough. So this is, it will be good yeah. having this video. And mm -hmm. and actually uh, after we do this, I'm gonna. Um, do a more. It, it's aw awesome talking to you, to you guys both candidly about this yeah. stuff. But I'm going to do a more concise one where I just go through all these exact mm -hmm. options as well, mm -hmm. um, so I can pin them down yeah. properly. But that's um, yeah. It's all these all these new features yeah. which I'm just learning about now. It's great. Come down. You make a post on Hive. We'll uh, you know use the Peak Monsters tag or whatever. Put it in our Discord. Uh, we let people their posts about these sorts of things we like giving our big um peak d vote like eight nine dollar votes on them free speak uh, sounds, we love doing that sounds nice um, to me free speak stuff you can do yep exactly um and uh you know like one thing though that um i can give you a coming up sort of thing since we've gone through most of what we have created i guess i could say that uh, maybe it doesn't affect you know his account that has 1200 cards in there but there were accounts that have, for some people that had like 20, 30,000 cards and they slowed down greatly. Mm. We made huge in, improvements to speeding up uh, the collection view. So when you go through your cards, huge speed ups. So I know that's not like some people had small collections and never thought like this, it was ever slow. Mm. But, you know, so. does this does this actually help that these speed ups that you're talking about here? Does this help with, um, you know, when you're in the rental card window, for instance, and and you're looking at cards and there's thousands of them, and then it lags while you're waiting oh. for them all to load up? I don't know. Is, is, I don't know. Are, are those speed up? No, we did the the it? speed up to improve uh, your own collection, and I don't know right. if it was crossover. What you're talking about? So okay, I never something, tested it. Something to test out then. Perhaps. So I can give you a coming up, guys, if you want. Yeah. Would love to. Let's go. So, Dwayne, you're talking about how you want to like give a bunch of people a certain amount of cards, like 100,000, right? Mm -hmm. 100,000 CP. So you have to do that each time you do it, like each season. You're like, well, which cards are there? You know? Yes. Um, I know where or, this is going. like, I had some people, I had some people that were friends of mine that started to play and um wanted to give them a bunch of cards even level one cards because they were still at novice or whatever you know mm -hmm. i just wanted to give them a bunch and i was like i have a ton of level one cards they don't have like i should just delegate them going through them all was kind of a pain you know i was like i'm gonna click this one i'm gonna click this one i'm gonna click this one so yeah, so Lama, where do you, where is this going? Where what are you talking? <laughs> well, the you talking about? Uh, sorry, I, I, well, this has gone a bit off 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 what I, I was thinking before. But scheduling these the uh, the actual rentals is is that something that, uh, that you're talking about? Where you could schedule the know, rentals? It, it applies to anything. It applies to renting out cars. It applies to delegating. It applies to locking. It applies to every one of those transactions like that you have for keyboard shortcuts you know that sort of thing right so when you're in a collection okay. in your collection view yeah you can select a bunch of cards and we will give you the ability to give them a name love it this is my oh, this is incredible. my set of uh, delegate troops. level one cards yeah I love it. Uh, or this is my... like a hundred thousand power, brilliant. fifty thousand power, twenty five thousand power. I could the gold, I could... The... or even even yeah, the gold even league better. cards that I like playing yeah. with. Yeah, exactly. 
I was about to say even better. You, you could you, you could say you could have it. For instance, you, uh, you or someone who has tons of uh, cards, uh, Dwayne, who who wants to um, delegate a certain amount to to people. You could essentially just choose a, a gold deck or something mm. in, in a certain splinter, um, and Ooh. then just make that make that deck up. Yeah, uh, with within a certain splinter, and then just rent out that that single splinter. That's awesome. Um, and just Is have a collection. This team of that, that you play incredible. with a lot. This white team, I, I forget. White. What's the white team that you tell? To, isn't didn't you do a video or who was it? Maybe it was Luke. Oh, who I did, did a team like you can't beat this white team. No, that, that one <laughs> wasn't splinter. me. But I, I think I, I did. I recently covered blue, but not. Um, um, but, but yeah, no, it is amazing to be able to grab. I think I, I think I know where you're going. Like if you could, if you could figure out a white team or a blue team or whatever that you felt was really powerful, then you could, you could, you could, you could categorize them. I mean, you could buy them, acquire them, and then you could label them like you know, OP white team. And it, and then especially if I had multiple scholars, I could replicate that sort of package and then delegate. You know, OP uh, white one, OP okay, white delegate, two, and. Delegate, delegate really cool yeah really cool and have different collections for all those different and you know that makes it so easy to do different leagues as well so you know you could have a, a white team for silver mm -hmm. league you could have a, a, yeah. a fire team for diamond all that kind of stuff and then just easily uh, delegate them off d delegate those different collections or you know for, for you uh Dwayne saying you know at the end of the month or whatever saying delegating a, a diamond um such and such team mm -hmm. uh for the end of season or a silver blah 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 or you have different tiers you could have uh you know run competitions and have different tiers where someone wins a silver team for the for the season or someone Ooh. wins a gold te team for the season or a diamond yeah. or whatever and just you know have different t uh, tiers that's having yeah collections that's that's incredible that's um such a good idea javi was that was that your brainchild um, we've thought about it for a while, so I can't even remember if it was mine or Sergio's or someone else's. It's been on the to-do list for a while, and we finally like, it's just time. Cause, yeah, because well, I yeah. started playing again. This is what happens. I mean, whenever someone comes to our Discord and asks for it, it really does help. Mm -hmm. It does help move it up a little bit higher in the priority. We don't have the like feedback list thing that Splinterlands does. Um, but um, because we, we don't have as many users as they do and um but uh but i started playing and i'm playing with this gold account and i want to rent out a ton of my cards i'm like i don't want to rent out the ones that i'm playing with so i want to like make a set of like the 50 cards that i play with on that gold set because there's a couple of splinters i don't colors i don't play with too much i want to rent out everything else so uh, what the collection set will do is will act as a filter you're in your collection love it and so then you can it'll be up at the top yeah and you'll like okay collection set include or exclude love it so i can wow. exclude my you know, play at silver because right now i've been playing at silver league and um that's that's awesome. I'm getting nerd chills thinking about it and it's the like... application because that, <laughs> that's that's incredible just for even your personal use as well. Then, like you can just create mm. a, a deck. Like for me, for instance, like, you know, I could just create a dragon deck or something that I'm going to use for the season, uh, and then have that uh, filtered out so that I can just rent out the rest of my cards. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's that's like awesome. playlists. That's what it, it reminds me of, like Spotify yeah. playlists. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, everyone will have uh, a set or two to use. And then uh, based on, uh, you know, kind of loyalty features like the tiers that you have on uh, on Peak Monsters, you'll get some more sets as well to use. So. Cool. Has, I, I, For a lot of people, maybe they only need one set, you know, like these are the cards I play with. Then uh, anything else, you know, but like for some people, it's like, oh, we want, I'm going to create a ton of different sets. Like, here's what I play with when I'm in silver. Here's what I play with once I'm in gold. Here's what I play with when I'm in diamond, you know. Yep. And anything, you know, if I'm not in diamond, I might as well rent out my silver and gold, you know. Mm -hmm. There can be crossover too. Like, maybe I'm using some of the same cards in diamond. I was in gold. So. Yeah.
Um, just a question, Javi. Have you ever been? I know that you, you're completely separate to Splinterlands. Um, what you guys do at Peak Monsters, but uh, has there ever been the thought of um, just combining your website into the Splinterlands interface? Or have you ever been uh, spoken <laughs> to Splinterlands about that at all? Just, um, just say that it's I, all you know, I think all that under they, the one. They, they have a product that they can tell other people that it is decentralized. Right. Their okay. ability to tell users and places like, you know, we're decentralized is a huge selling point to them. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they wouldn't that makes want a lot it of that sense. way. So. Yeah, yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. And I guess, yeah, it could be seen as a monopoly, I guess, too. Um, mm. if, if they're charging different rates and things for transactions. Yeah. Um, so, sorry, go ahead, Dwayne. Well, I was going to say, if it, Jarvie, if you have other features, I think I'm hearing that you, you feel like you, you've explained the important things. Um, if I'm wrong, I'd love to talk about whatever else you feel is important to share here. But um, I think we would be really remiss if we if we didn't talk about the new Waka Summoner. We talked about it before we started recording, but I think mm. it'd be great if we, we comment yeah. on it and, and just kick it around a little bit because I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to, to address first before we go go, go there? No, oh, we went through everything on the list. Okay, awesome. And, I, I uh, have. I, I have. I mean, I always I'm always excited to hear what people would use the collection set thing to do. So, um, I mean, I don't have. I mean, I mean, it's just I think it's fun to hear all the different ways that it can be used. So any of your users like want to share that like that will also help once we're as we're creating it and stuff so mm -hmm. um uh like the idea that i'm tossing around right now that doesn't it won't come out at the same time i've i've discussed is i told sergio and i was like i think people are going to want like some sort of template as well like a collection set template like they may not have those cards it's a template that they can share to other new users mm -hmm. like here's or like here's my set you don't have these oh, cards yet idea. but let me share the template and they yeah. go in and they add this template yes and then they see like that's a great i don't idea. know how it works but like grayed out versions like i don't own this yet let me fill yeah, it and, in and then maybe they and then can showing, use our site to purchase yeah mm -hmm. and showing a purchase or rent underneath where you can just yeah. use those cards. That's a great idea to share different decks. Or if you if you're thinking, oh, this is unstoppable in a certain league or whatever, uh, and you you want to yeah. share with a friend or something, um, check check out this deck. You just send it to them by Peak Monsters, and then boom, you can rent out those those cards or a button which aut you know auto bids for you uh, for the lowest prices yeah. on those cards or um, or to purchase them as well. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. I, I really they like They could that. screenshot it. They could screenshot the template and then put it into a post. Say, this is what you guys should, you know, like there's so many of those random, you guys seen those, like the, the Splinterlands type posts? Like I'm using this deck or I'm using that. Like mm -hmm. then they would have a very fast, easy way to show which cards to get and at which levels would be good. I think that's a great idea. And also there, there might be something where you could, um, I know you guys can't track there's some blockchain data like for instance win rates on cards you're not going to have access to that information but you know there are apps out there that, that do scrape um do track that sort of thing and that that are maybe questionable so i don't know if i'll i'll mention them here but people already know about them they are already using them and they they can get win rates you know immediately calculable it would be interesting if it was possible to create like a playlist and that's the word i'm using to describe what you, you just said where it's like this is the un, this is an amazing uh white splinter team and at silver or gold or whatever and then like you said mm -hmm. it would be uh almost a blueprint this is this happens in other games too in diablo in um it's like a build uh for an op you know uh monster team that you're looking to construct and and then people can literally fill in the blocks and and try to execute that play um but it would be really cool i don't know if this is possible but maybe you you guys could maybe there would be a way to link that data that's available by scraping the blockchain i guess through you know splinter you know i guess i'll just mention them splinter tools um because 
people use that to, to determine the win rates on certain decks. And what if you could you could make an argument and say and and you could call to even if it was like pointing to that, just like um, uh, when you're looking mm -hmm. at a financial asset, you can say you can when you're tweeting about SPS for instance or D BTC or whatever, you can you can link it in your tweet so that people can click on it and see like the market price up down. It might be cool to see the win rates on a play on a given playlist and then it could be like a sub window within peak monsters about all the different builds and maybe people would would blog you know um uh, on there could theoretically be like a window for you know builds that might, might people have people coming here for just that sort of element also giving them reviews and stuff yeah yeah thumbs up yeah separate a separate tab for builds for different card builds that would be interesting mm. We're, great. we're going like over an hour here and I really want to talk to you about, <laughs> about that yeah. Waka. Can, so maybe we can move into yeah. that. Can I just have, well, just, just real quick, sorry. Um, just one more thing. And I know that last time we inundated you with different um, additional filters and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. you said, you mentioned that you got what nearly 50 already. Um, but I just thought that um, a filter that shows cards by, by their leagues, I know that you've got levels, um, in the in the filters tab yeah. so you can type in the actual level and if people know what level the cards are in in gold yeah. in gold silver diamond or whatever whatever uh thing but if they just had a, a button there where say you click on rent um and you want to you want to rent a gold deck uh so you click you click rent you click gold and rent. filters sorry rent yeah yeah like let's say that you want to rent a, a gold deck so you click on rent you 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 select the filter as as uh, because each each card is different, right? Because uh, you know commons yeah. are different, uh, legendaries you can only use um, you know certain mm -hmm. levels of these different cards. So if you went into rent, you type it, you click the gold button, and then it show it will only show you gold uh, gold cards, and then you can click through those those cards and and uh, and add gold them to your rent. cards, right? Yeah, gold league cards. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, yeah, not actual gold cards or si silver. If people just want to rent silver cards uh, for the season, then mm -hmm. they can just click the button. I've got all the silver cards there. It doesn't show any of the other ones. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that would just, I know that, I guess it's just like an extra level of accessibility for newer players using Peak Monsters or who don't understand. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I still sometimes um, have trouble remembering the, what uh what level cards can be used in in each league uh, but we have just... the rarity down below um where you can choose different levels right so that's right yeah so you can do eight on yeah on commons level six yep six on rare so silver and... would be two for legendary four. rare would be think three i think it's four right. and five I think this is maybe yep. the best way to do it because so that's, yeah. if you were to, if there was a, I, my two cents, if there was a, a filter that said gold league, what would that mean? Because there's lots of times a card is really excellent in, in gold. Look at the, um, look at the, uh, I think we both covered it recently, um, Alama. The cards like the Halfling Alchemist or for that matter, the, um, uh, I got to go to buy and I got to look at grid. Uh, it's an old promo or reward. The the mushroom there he is, mushroom seer. Like level one BCX of this card is is good at every at every level probably under gold. And so right. I, I'm not sure. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, uh, that that is true. Yeah, you wouldn't um, want you wouldn't want to rent you wouldn't want to buy 25 of these necessarily or rent even. I, mm -hmm. You'd be fine with just one for most people. Um, but I an interesting not yeah. to, not to say it's a bad idea no no, no. That, that's you you bring up a great point and i wasn't actually thinking i mean we were just talking about bcx some yeah. bcx's aren't even worth actually upgrading or paying the extra dec for either a rental or purchasing the card um so and i guess um excluding those specific cards is is somewhat difficult to do if you just have the gold silver and so i stand corrected but there's a, can, quick, <laughs> a quick sorting that I would love to happen where you click on Gold League and all of those little levels auto populate. That window, that you mean? Like if you click on Gold on. and it's like yeah. six to one or whatever, and as opposed to it would be, it, it could at least. Well, no, no, no. It'd be like it would auto assign the six, you know, common at level five, uh, rare at level four. That would be cool. You know, yeah. That would be three cool. Three and two. 
um, clicking through those, it's just a quality of life thing to have. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people may not have those levels uh, memorized like some of us old timers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but thanks for going through all these, uh, the latest updates that you've got in peak monsters i'm so excited for peak monsters and i'm really looking forward to uh to getting down and dirty with all these new changes that you've made Javi. so um yeah appreciate appreciate you both and uh it's been awesome thank you yeah thanks Jarvie. really day, appreciate everyone. it my dude thank you for making the time i know you're a busy man and uh th this website's amazing it's my favorite and i and i'm not just blowing smoke um so th i appreciate it and uh you keep doing what you're doing and i'm gonna keep telling people about it Thank you. Awesome. All right, boys. Uh, well, thank you very much again.